Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curvel.com and uh, this week we are going to talk about geographical mapping in Power BI. Geographical, geographical mapping is one of my favorite things to do when it comes to reporting. If there are any country or city or anything, I just have to put it on a map. It just makes everything more visual and more understandable. And uh, I was thrilled when the Power BI team released the shape maps in Power BI. But for some reason, I just didn't get it. I didn't know how to use them. And I read some blogs online and I read the instructions uh, that the Power BI team released. But I just still, I didn't have the time to actually sit down and say, okay, how does this work? Now, I have been working in projects this past month and I've become a, an expert on geographical mapping. So I thought, okay, I'm going to show other people what I know about this and we are going to start with shape maps, fantastic maps. So let's begin. Uh, okay, so here we are in Power BI and we have a very simple example. I have some geographical uh, data and this comes from Google Analytics, but if you don't have Google Analytics, any kind of geographical data will do. So here I have a city, continent, country, the country ISO code two letter. I have latitude and longitude and then I have sessions and subcontinents. So when I have geographical data, I've always, always, always build a map. It's, it's just, it just gives you very nice insights if, if the data is properly formatted. So before the shape map came along, uh, what you had was this, uh, they call it just map. And if you actually throw in country and sessions, Power BI will choose map by default, right? And then it will give us, here is a visualization of sessions per country for a website. But as you can see, it's not so easy to understand which countries you are doing well. It's just the small dots everywhere. And just for this type of data, when you wanna have country level data, shape maps are better option than um, the ordinary you know points uh, to allocation map so i'm going to show you how to use the shape map to map this instead first of all without going any further options and settings options and preview features you need to have shape map visual enabled because this is still a beta version, okay? So make sure you click on that, otherwise you will not see the map in there. So with that clicked, you have to restart Power BI and then you will get that icon. So if we click on it, you see nothing happens. If I put country and sessions in there, it will give me the US map. And that's what things got confusing for me. Like, why do I have a US map? Go into the settings, and then if you go here in shape, you see that US is the default. And other than that, you have some other countries. Um, what is it? Australia, Canada. Oh, yeah, you have some other. Italy. So we want a world map. I, I cannot believe that they didn't have the world map as default. It's just, I, I don't know why. But um, we want a world map. So what you can do is you can actually add a map. So you click in here and then it's asking you for a JSON file. Like, okay, what is that? I had no idea what that was. So let me show you. Here is a blog post from David. I'm sure you know who he is. And I think he did that 
pretty much right away. Uh, I've come across this blog post a few times when I was trying to use like the shape map very quickly, uh, but I just never, you know, read it properly. But here it explains everything you need to know about, not everything, but but it explains how this uh, Power BI shape map works. And not only that, he actually started collecting JSON map files for um, Power BI. So if you scroll down here, you see GitHub, um, here you have maps that he has started collecting, which it is absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much for this. It is just really, really useful. And uh, I'm going to post a link to the blog post so you can come here and have it. And then you can go to the GitHub page. Um, so, so you have all the maps located. If you have created any map, please share it with him because this will be our library for uh, uh, JSON files. Also, I cannot believe why Microsoft is not providing these for us. But either way, thank you, David. This is awesome. So what you can see here, we have world, continents, and then different countries that either he has made or somebody has uh, made and given to him. What we want is the world by country, not by continent. So by country. So if we click on it, it will take us here. And there we have it. And then if we follow his steps, he says, go to raw and then save link as. So we go to raw, right click, save link as. And you just uh, save it somewhere in your computer. I have all my files in one place. Uh, custom visualizations and then I have a map called maps and here I have the ones that I have been using for now so I use countries continents and then the Turkish map so you just save it in there make sure you remember where it is and once you have saved it we go back to Power BI we go to the location where we have the map And then we just pick the JSON file and we click on open. Now, as you can see, it already pick up some uh, of the countries, but how is he doing this? And, and this is what I really had trouble with. What you have to do now is you have to click here on view map keys. And here is going to tell you what keys is this specific map is using to, to map everything. So as you can see, it's using three digit code for the country and then the name. So the names that are the same, it's already picked them up and put them in the right places. But the ones that are not, it will go through the three code. Now, Google Analytics has a to let me show you it has a what is it here a two digit country code and we need a three digit country code so what we need to do is to do a conversion from two digit to three digit to be able to use that specific map i'm going to do that very quickly by importing the data from this uh, github uh, list i found you will get a link to this also, so don't worry. So we go to edit queries. We go to web as a source. Put that in there. Uh, we have the web view is the table that we want. And what we want is these. 
So now we go to Google Analytics and do a merge. We pick our new table, we connect two country code with a two country code, and we say all from first matching from second, that's correct. And here we add our three code. And now we're going to, you know that Google Analytics puts not set on everything. We don't want not set, that does not help us. No, wait, where the country is a code is not set. That's where we want to remove it. Oh, there was it. Okay, cool. Was it? Ah, set a set, exactly. I always forget. Google Analytics uses that one. That's not set. And these, we call it two to three code. We are not going to load this because we don't need it. Close and apply. And now we have our newly created. I forgot to remove. I wish they didn't have that by default. It's very seldom that I want to keep the names. So now we have our three coded. So we go back here and instead of location country, we're going to use the three code. And as you can see, everything is getting populated correctly. Now, you might be wondering why you have the you know, all these um, sp empty spaces and why everything is taking so much uh, place. I don't think I will have a lot of uh, visitors from Antarctic on this website. So um, yeah, what you can do here, you go to uh, settings for the visualization and then in here in Zoom, you activate out of zoom. What it does is it just zooms where there is actually data and removes everything else. Zoom in on selected shapes. Yes, we want that. And allow user to zoom and pan. Yeah, we want to do that. So if I choose Russia, it will zoom in. Or Brazil, for example. So it's just gorgeous. It's a really nice visualization. Um, I'm a little bit sad that it took me so long to uh, to make it work. Now, the colors is the only thing I think Microsoft should improve because as you can see, it's not very easy to see. And also it should be a legend here, like you see in Google Analytics where it says zero from, okay, th this one says 7,000. And then the colors in between, so you can see more or less um, what the different colors mean. Of course, you can do a table on that, but I think that should be a part of the map. So I don't know, you can try playing with other colors and see if you get like a better visual. For example, here you can see, of course, the United States is forest, but then it's India, Russia, uh, Great Britain and perhaps Sweden, the next one's on the line and then perhaps someone here in Europe. A little bit easier to see uh, how the colors are representing the different numbers. So um, I, I really hope this helps you start using the shape map if you haven't. And if you have any JSON file for countries, give it to David because it's awesome to be able to have those maps available when we need them really. Okay, so this is all for today. Uh, if you like it, uh, let me know by liking it. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let me know on the comment box or any of the social channels listed below. If you want to share it, uh, 
please do it in any of your social channels and subscribe. I publish Power BI videos every week. Have a great evening. Bye.